New developments tonight out of Washington. Two Republican senators have introduced a bill to address people in the DACA program. That covers the children of illegal immigrants, and it's one that potentially offers a path to citizenship. But that bill is in the very early stages, and with DACA's fate unclear, many students here in Massachusetts are living with a lot of uncertainty. Of course, and they don't know what the next six months will bring, of course, or what it will mean for their older siblings or their family's future. I went to Somerville High School, where teachers are working to keep kids who are in legal limbo focused on learning. It's tonight. Eye on education. Our job is to educate students, our job is to support students, our job is to help them dream and to do and to learn um, and not to think about unfortunately what's going on outside. Anne Eden counsels English language learners at Somerville High School, a city with one of the highest immigrant populations in the state. Roughly 20,000 immigrants make up nearly 25 percent of the city. We don't ask students what their status is. We work with students and try to support them in whatever you know, they bring to us. But some students do volunteer that information about living here illegally and their worry about what will happen with DACA, anxiety that competes with their studies. I'm impressed that they come to school, that they love learning, that they have these dreams for themselves, and that shouldn't change because of something that might or might not happen. What do you say to students who are affected by this? My advice to them is to keep working as hard as you've been working, and uncertainty is part of life. That uncertainty troubles Kevin and Jose, recent graduates of Somerville High, both enrolled in DACA. They work, attend Bunker Hill Community College, and both have younger siblings in school who depend on them. With the six months coming, I'm just afraid that I won't be able to work and help my mom mm. support my family. What do you say to your younger brother and sister as they're continuing with their education? Just keep studying, do your best, um, graduate, keep creating, um, otherwise people are going to be right, I guess, about Hasna being hardworking. The schools brought in immigration lawyers to explain what the options are, and Eden says teachers and administrators meet to talk about how to offer students support. As much as possible, we're trying to keep politics out of school. <laughs> And this year, the school committee in Somerville unanimously, unanimously passed a resolution to make Somerville schools safe and a welcoming place for all students they sent out to the governor and the congressional delegation. And I think the biggest issue for them, as you were saying, is the uncertainty. They just right. want to know, where are we going with this? This is definitely a tough year for some of those kids.